Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kelsey. I do new videos every week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get updates each time a new one goes up. So today I wanna to share with you guys a little tip on how I keep my hair clean between washes. I usually wash my hair about three times a week, and it's actually better to not wash your hair every day because you're stripping those natural oils from your hair. So by not washing it every single day, you're gonna save those oils and it's actually gonna be better for your hair. Now you may be thinking, my hair is super oily, I need to wash it every single day, but usually your hair is producing extra oil because of the lack of oil, if that makes sense. So try using like a hair oil. I've used the Kopari um, coconut oil for your hair. I've actually used just regular coconut oil too as like a hair mask. Um, they have like egg masks that I've heard of. I have not tried that, um, but there's so many different ways that you can get that um, moisture back to your hair so that you're not overproducing that oil. So I'm going to show you guys what I do in between washes. I have two different products that I want to share with you guys today. One is um, a texturizing spray that I use once I'm out of the shower and I kind of want to rough up, like kind of dirty up my hair again because when it's clean, it's really hard to style sometimes because it's nice and like shiny. And then the other one is a dry shampoo that I use between washes to really refresh that hair and get, um, get any excess oils out as well. So I will show you guys what I use. Okay, so first up is the Triple Sec 3-in-1 Texturizing Amplifier and Refresher from Dry Bar. This one is almost gone, but I usually don't need anything on the first day when I get out of the shower, but sometimes I'll use this to kind of like dirty up my hair to get it to style, like if I want to style it, like curl it or anything like that after I wash it. But then the second day, I really like to use this because it is, again, that refresher. And then any days after that for my hair, I will use the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Now this stuff is amazing. I got this in my um, FabFitFun box that I had as an add-on I think one month last year I want to say. And this stuff is probably the best dry shampoo out of all the ones I've tried. I really want to try the Tarte dry shampoo that I've heard about. Um, I've heard it's amazing but I have not gotten around to trying that one. Um, but this is definitely my favorite. I've used the Clorain dry shampoo. I've used baby powder because baby powder definitely works. I've used, what else, the Batiste dry shampoo in the white or the um, colored, which the colored actually works really well for um, dark hair. But this just smells so good. If you guys know Living Proof smell, it's just like so, it's just like a clean scent and it smells really good. You don't want your hair to smell like overly hairsprayed or like full of product. This just like, it's just the perfect smell. Um, and it says actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. So this stuff is definitely one of my favorites. And I will show you guys how I actually use it before styling my hair today. All right, so we have this hot mess of hair that's been up since last night. Um, and this is, when did I, I washed it yesterday. So, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, so not too bad. Um, so normally I'd go in with the triple sec, but I wanna show you guys the, um, the living proof one. I'm just gonna clip that to the side. What I'll do is take just like a chunk up here, about that much, and then we'll spray the root, and we'll take a little bit more underneath. Just really where you think the most amount of oil is, and I just take it and kind of like rough up the roots, really get it to soak in that oil I usually get um, oily right at the crown like the back of my head so I will just get in there and then a little bit usually right here and then you're just gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes in there and then we're gonna brush it through. And for a brush, I use this bristle brush, which is super dirty um, from Conair. It's so old, but it really works to get through any like knots or anything like that and get all the way to the root without actually like hurting your hair. I don't know if you can see the like bristles it has. It has shorter bristles and then the longer ones. I just really like it and I actually tease my hair with this sometimes too and it works really well. So 
So that is pretty much it for my dry shampoo routine. Now here's where I would normally go and style my hair. So I will show you guys that in a separate video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. And I will be doing a blog post on my favorite dry shampoo. So don't forget to check that out. It is kelseychristine.com, my blog. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle posts. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.